Dream Vacations 12 Most Unique Travel Destinations in Iran Here is a selection of the most unique travel destinations in Iran. Borji Azadi Borji Azadi, Azadi Tower, is the most iconic landmark of Tehran and is undeniably worth a visit during your time in the Iranian capital. Completed in 1971, the structure has a very distinct style that merges traditional Persian architecture with modern influences. One can see this quite clearly by its big Iwan arch that is covered with 8,000 pieces of white marble. Azadi Square where the tower sits, is very symbolic too. A lot of protests happened there during the 1979 Islamic Revolution, and it's still a popular site for demonstrations today. Visitors can climb Azadi Tower using the elevator or stairs to get a nice view of the city from the top. Imamzadeh Sala The beautiful Imamzadeh Sala, also known as Taj Rish Mosque, is where Sala, the son of Musa al-Qadim, as the seventh Shia Imam, is laid to rest. The mosque boasts some truly stunning tile work on the minarets and dome, and the interior is decorated with brilliant mirror work, something that's quite common in Iranian shrines. Visitors can also stop by the lively Tajrish Bazaar nearby for some souvenirs and more glimpses of local life. Shah Cherig Shah Cherig Shrine whose name translates to, King of the Light, is one of the holiest places in Shiraz. It is truly a priceless sight. The interior of the shrine is even more spectacular than the exterior facade. As you step inside, you'll be overwhelmed by the incredibly intricate mirrorwork covering the walls and ceilings, sparkling and shimmering like diamonds. There is an interesting story behind this name. In roughly 900 CE, a traveler followed a mysterious light he saw from a distance and ended up stumbling upon an illuminated grave. The body of an important Muslim figure was found inside, and a tomb was subsequently built to house that grave. As time went on, the site expanded and went on to become an important pilgrimage destination for Shia Muslims. Today, after many rounds of renovations, it's a structure admired by tourists from all over the world. Iram Garden Shiraz is not just filled with stunning mosques and shrines, it is also home to one of the most beautiful Persian gardens in Iran, the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Iram Garden. Visitors are surrounded by over 45 species of plants, 200 species of roses, and countless fruit trees, including a famous 3,000-year-old cypress tree, and sound of birds chirping and the fresh smell of blossoms all around. No one knows when exactly Iram Garden was built, but it is said to have been completed in the 13th century during the Seljuk era. It was then passed down and restored multiple times before being handed to the University of Shiraz, which owns the garden today. Maharlu Lake Maharlu Lake also known as the Pink Lake due to the amount of red tide in its salty water, is just a one-hour drive from Shiraz and worth the excursion if you want to witness fascinating natural wonders surrounding the city. The best time to visit this salt lake is between July and September, when the water from the lake is more likely to evaporate, making the pink hues more intense. For the same reasons, the lake is likely to be less pink during the rainy season, April to June. Do not forget your camera, as this is certainly one of the most beautiful places in the country. Nakushi Rostam only a 10-minute drive from the UNESCO registered Persepolis is Nakushi Rostam, the royal necropolis of the Achaemenid Empire, c. 550-330 B.C. The site is home to four majestic rock-cut tombs and several majestic bas-relief carvings. Nakushi Rostam, meaning, Picture of Rostam, is named after a mythical Iranian hero which is most celebrated in Shahnameh and Persian mythology. Back in time, natives of the region had erroneously supposed that the carvings below the tombs represent depictions of the mythical hero. One of the wonders of the ancient world, Nakushi Rostam embraces four tombs or where Persian Achaemenid kings are laid to rest, 
believed to be those of Darius II, Artaxerxes I, Darius I, and Xerxes I, from left to right facing the cliff, although some historians are still debating this. Beneath the funerary chambers are dotted with seven Sasanian era, 224 to 651, bas-reliefs cut into the cliff depict vivid scenes of imperial conquests and royal ceremonies. Signboards below each relief give a detailed description in English. Argi Rayan you can start your journey in Kerman by visiting this massive adobe fortress, the magnificent Argi Rayan. Constructed in the Sassanid era, 224-651-C, this majestic structure rising gloriously out of the desert will leave visitors in absolute awe. It is a must-see during your time in Iran. The fortress is also really well preserved despite the natural disasters it had to endure. It's said that around 5,000 people lived in this citadel up until roughly 150 years ago, and the current structure you see has been built over the ruins of an older fortress. The fortress was divided into three parts. A section for the kings, a section for the lords and the wealthy, and a section for the ordinary people. Walls and towers separated each of these areas. It was well situated on a major trade route and was, therefore, a popular hub for caravans and merchants. There were also a lot of workshops here with people making guns, knives, and swords. Today, you can still see some of them by the entrance. Kalutz of Lut Desert The gem of the southeastern Kerman province is undoubtedly the magnificent Lut Desert, a UNESCO site which is home to some truly ethereal clay rock formations known as Kaluts. Many visitors highly recommend camping overnight there to fully soak in the magic of this desert. The unique and incredible shapes of the Kaluts were formed by erosion due to strong wind and water. Some of these rock structures are easily climbable, and one can get a fantastic view of the desert from the top. Lut is one of the hottest places on Earth, its highest registered temperature is 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit. For that reason, it is best to visit during the spring or autumn. If you go during the summer, try to be there in the early morning or evening when temperatures are cooler. Amir Chakmak Complex The stunning Amir Chakmak Complex is one of the biggest gems in the UNESCO-designated city of Yaz. The complex houses a majestic mosque, a bathhouse, a mausoleum, and several cafes and restaurants. There is also a bazaar behind the square where visitors can try some local liver kebabs. Having a relaxed atmosphere, it is a great place to sit down on a bench, people watch, and admire the captivating Amir Chakmak Mosque. Amir Chakmak Mosque is the star of the square and a symbol of Yazd. From the outside, this three-storied structure looks very different from other mosques in Iran. Its facade consists of several symmetrical sunken alcoves, a truly unique sight. Towers of silence about 10 kilometers away from the mosques and adobe houses of Yazd lies another site filled with history and tradition. The Towers of Silence, also known as Dakmas, were where Zoroastrians performed their sky burial rituals up until 40 years ago. Zoroastrians believed that when people die, their bodies could be contaminated by demons and made impure. So in their tradition, they attempted to purify the corpses by laying them in three concentric circles on top of the Towers of Silence. The bodies will then slowly decompose while being picked apart by desert vultures. The bones were moved into ossuaries inside the towers. This tradition dates back to the early 9th century CE, but in the 1970s, the use of these towers was banned in the country, so Zoroastrians started using other burial methods. Kaju Bridge One of the most relaxing things to do in Isfahan is to visit the stunning Kaju Bridge in the evening. This centuries-old bridge lights up splendidly in the dark, exuding an incredibly magical and peaceful vibe. 
It is also the perfect place for photography and a glimpse into local life in Iran, as it is a popular gathering spot for families and teenagers. The bridge is also decorated with gorgeous tile work and paintings, and there is a pavilion in the middle where Shah Abbas II, the seventh Safavid king, used to hang out and admire the beauty of the Zyandarid River beneath. Muhammad Helal Shrine Some a 20-minute drive from the heart of the oasis city of Kashan lies the Shrine of Muhammad Helal, a breathtaking hidden gem that most visitors do not know about. This shrine displays some true gems of Islamic architecture, including intricate mosaic tiles, a large blue tile dome, and glittering minarets. An amazing thing about this place is that you are likely to be the only tourist around in one of the most beautiful places in Iran, which is quite rare given that most attractions in this country are quite crowded. The people working at this shrine are also very friendly and will often